The next element for a shave is the classic accordion and two points of critique during this video and the first one will be the name. I don't get why they call it a classic accordion. Maybe something I am not aware of, but let's have a look and then I'll tell you why I don't think it's a classic accordion. Now, I've, l I'm not going to focus on that one yet first. Let's quickly look at the widgets over here and type in accordion and I always spell this wrong. Now, here is the accordion that comes with the Elementor Pro. And if I drag that one in, you will see you have the accordion, right? And then you have the text in here. And if you click on accordion number one, you can see there's the title and here is the text. But that is not going to work in the alleged classic accordion from Jet Elements. And the first thing you will see is one that I've loaded, a pre-made example from them. When you look at the pre-made example, it says here, the toggles are working. Please note that you have to add a template to the library in order to be able to display it inside the toggles. So this is, in my opinion, not classic at all. This is quite interesting because it is a accordion, but it does not allow you to type anything in there. Look here, I show you again the one that comes with Elementor. If you click on it, you see the text in here. And then if you go over here, you can type here and you can add your text here. And that's what I would say I associate with the classic accordion. But if you click on this one over here and you go to the first bar here, you will see there's no place anywhere except the label, which is the title over here. But otherwise, there is no place to type anything in. And that's why they give you this little warning. Please note that you have to add a template. So that is my first critique for this widget is that nothing wrong with it. I still like the widget. I just don't think it is classic. I think it's a template accordion or something like that. I'm going to bring in two columns because an accordion often over the whole page can be a lot. We use accordions many times for uh, F and Qs, you know, uh, what is it, Q and A sessions, those kind of things, frequently asked questions, FAQs, that's what I was after. But I will not use this classic accordion for that because it means for each text that you want to enter, you have to go and create a template. I would rather stick to the Elementor accordion for that. But for this one, you have the ability to bring in other things that are connected to images, even clicks, um, all kinds of stuff, contact forms. You can Anything you can imagine that you can put on a page, you can bring into this accordion. And actually, I changed my mind. I want to bring in one section. Let's go and look for that classic accordion. I'm learning how to spell over here, the classic accordion, and we drag it in. And now remember what they told you, you need to go and create templates. If I click on it, you'll say template is not defined. You're not going to enter text here. You have to go and create templates. So what I have done is that I've already made templates in the Elementor template, my templates, and I've made three, just random ones with predefined blocks. And the first one, let's choose this one that says pricing. And then over here under label, I will type in pricing. And I'm going to do all three of them first and then show you how it looks. Services. And then for this one, our team. Now, these templates Remember, I've already made them in the Elementor My Templates. You have to go and do that beforehand. Otherwise, nothing will work here. Now, under pricing, I've added this one, pricing. And if I click on it, it will open the section that I've made in my templates. So it is displaying the template. And like I said, this gives you far more flexibility and far more opportunities to display things in this accordion than a normal classic accordion would do. That's why I keep thinking, this is not classic, but m maybe, I don't know, long, long time ago, this is what classic accordions did. <laughs> anyway, services, um, okay, it cuts off here because there was some negative margin, margin supplied to this section. So it's something that I just need to go fix under edit template. And then our team, here is the team. So these were pre-made 
blocks that I got from Croco Block as well. So you have to go into Elementor, My Templates, define it under Sections, and then you come here and you drag them in. Let's just look a little bit at the options that you get with this classic accordion. The active button allows you to open one of these upon loading. So if somebody comes to your website and they load it and we activate this services as the active, it will open this one automatically. So it will open will be open by default. That depends on what you want. If you want to draw their attention to this, then you do that. If you do a second one like our team and you also make this active both of them will be open upon loading you will see they are both open now that is your choice and it depends on what styling you want to do for me by default i like and prefer them all closed i know many people will keep the top one open for active another feature that you can also be aware of under settings is this one called collapsible. Now, this took me a while to understand what's going on, and I'm actually wondering if it isn't reversed. Collapsible. Now, at this moment, it is clicked on no, but let me show you the feature first. If I click on pricing, it opens. If I click on it again, it closes. In my mind, that means collapsible. It is collapsible. Okay, you'll understand soon what I mean. If I now toggle it to on yes and it updates here just wait for that to update and update now when i click on it it will open and when i click on it again it will remain open to me this means it's not collapsible so i'm not sure if they got this one reverse or whether i'm thinking in a backwards world but I would say collapsible, yes, means it can collapse and it doesn't. So this is a feature that you can also consider. So the only way you can collapse this is by opening another one. And that's how it will collapse. That is the idea behind this. I would keep this at the moment on this setting so that if somebody wants to close it, they can do so. There is a show effect here. And I really cannot get the differences between them. I've gone through all of them. Let's just use the full perspective. And let's see if you can notice. Oh, okay, right. Now with the image, I can see it with text. It's not that clear. But with these images, it does have that. It, it swings in almost. So there is a little bit of an effect that is applied here. Let's use fade. And then that means the image should fade in. Okay, very subtle but i can see that it is happening there good so this is everything regarding the contents and how it functions remember you need a template for that over here the open toggle or the the plus will be the one that shows you there is more content and then the minus over here is when it has been extended you can choose your own icons here if you so please my second point of critique comes into the styling there is a term I want to use, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to get kicked out if I use it. It is really a little bit of a, a nuisance styling this one at the moment. And I would implore the guys at Crocoblock to go and check a little bit on what they can do here to give it a little bit more user friendliness. In particular, you can basically go and style everything as we know that you can do with an accordion. But the one thing that totally... I couldn't find it for the life of me was this little icon toggle settings over here. So when I clicked on toggle control, which is that, you will see topography and you look everywhere for that. I would have assumed it's somewhere under toggle control. I don't see the color change for that. Now, if we go into icon, which is that plus, we can go and change the color for the icon and we can make it, let's say we make it red. Now we want to change the background of the icon. And that is where you have to now start looking around here. And here we go to background type and then click here. And then there we go. So let's make this red. And maybe now because I know where it is, it doesn't bother me that much. But it took me quite some time. I saw the icon. I didn't see the icon background. 
And it really frustrated me trying to figure that out. So now just style the hover as well. And then let's make the text again white. Topography, that is that one. Icon, color, background. Here we go. I'm breathing very hard and it didn't apply. Let's do it again. Icon. And it is, right? Oh, active. I'm on hover. Apologies. Apologies. And let's do it again. And it closes. Let's see if it open up now. Yep. So you can do all the kinds of styling that you would like to have done. And just remember, you have your normal and then you have hover if you have the hover over here. And I remember that I have not been able really to get the hover to work in any. Let's see if I hover. There we go. This time, very nicely. Everything I said I want to critique is backfiring at this moment. I've probably now played around with it so many times that it's becoming second nature. And that's the thing about most plugins and page builders and any software that you use is that if you don't use it, you lose it. I often think like my Adobe Illustrator. It is something that I used to be very good at, but as they roll out new features, I get totally lost and I didn't use it for years. If you give me Illustrator now, it's like a nightmare. Photoshop, no problem. InDesign, no problem. But anyway, we are digressing. So here you can go then, like I said, you can go ahead and you can style everything, your toggle content. The toggle will be your bar here at the top. So you can apply your background type here. And again, you'll have to be very aware of what's going on here because I applied this background now there. If you go to the accordion container and you apply a background, let's see what happens here. Let's use a darker one. Okay, that will be the entire container. Let's clear that. Okay, let's clear that. That was the toggle background for that one. And then if you go into the toggle control, which we did go in, and you say background type, click on it, and you see, now I just changed the color in two places. This is where I say I, I am not entirely sure what could be the application of that, whether that is done intentionally, but it's very strange that I can apply a color over here and that I can go to the accordion container, background type, color. Oh no, that's the container we were here in the toggle and I've applied a color here, but now it's been overridden. Yes. So it's a, a little bit of cleaning up I think needed here and a little bit of UI intervention if we can have a team like that that can just maybe clean it up a little bit because this classic accordion, which to me is a, what I would maybe call it like a template accordion, has got a, li a lot of application in the fact that you can bring in these templates, make it look very nice if you have a lot of stuff to display and you want to do it also in a nice format and styling. So only the two points of critique then for me on this classic accordion is the name because it confused me. And then the second one is probably a try somehow to improve the styling options. I know sometimes this is also things that people would complain about Elementor in general is how it is made. It could not, it wouldn't only be associated with Crocoblock block widgets, um, but it is something that I found very tricky, you know, to get to everything and then find out exactly where is what. So let's hope that Elementor bring in some of the features that other page builders are bringing in, that when I click on something like this, it will automatically open on this side to where those changes have been applied. A nice request for Elementor. Come on, guys, give us those kind of features. All in all, I like accordions. I have used them on law websites where we have to post like court cases and you don't want the entire case to display there and you have 20 to 30 cases related to a certain outcome or to a certain topic and you can put it at the bottom. I love accordions. They've been used in my workflow a lot of the times. So I like this one as well. It's not, I wouldn't recommend it for text. If you want to use it for a F and FAQ, then I would not use this one because you'll need to go and update your templates every time just for that. And that makes it a little bit slower than you would with a normal accordion, also known as classic accordion. Well, at the end of the day, 
this is not a band widget and I'm pretty sure something that will be used on my sites in the future as well. If you are interested in these jet elements, you have two options actually. One is that you can get them in a full subscription as one package from CrocoBlock. You can check the link below for CrocoBlock. Alternatively, you can also get it as a standalone. So you don't have to go and buy all those add-ons from CrocoBlock. You can just buy jet elements. And for that, there's also a link below taking you to Template Monster. This is JP here with Websites for Beginners.